I'm back with another video. Um, yeah, so how do I shrink my products so quickly? How do I get through so many in a month like I do? Well, when it comes to the mists, um, I constantly spray myself throughout the day. I want to smell like that scent all day because I enjoy it. I love it and I want to smell like it all day. Um, I use it as a room freshener. I, I spray the room, I spray the house, I'll spray my bed sheets, I'll spray inside the drawers to keep the drawers fresh. Um, I also use um, uh, dryer sheets. I change the dryer sheets out every um, once a week when they get dry. Um, I change the dryer sheets out and I'll put fresh dryer sheets down on the bottom of the drawers to keep the drawers fresh. Um, because I do have wooden drawers and they, they, my, my clothes would smell like wood every time I opened up the drawers and I would always have to wash my clothes. So um, I just lay dryer sheets down and now it always smells fresh. So I spray my drawers with uh, my, my perf perfume and um, I just constantly mist myself throughout the day. And then with the creams, I constantly moisturize myself. Um, I'll moisturize every like hour or so. I'll rub a little bit of cream on um, my legs, my arms, my feet. Um, I always moisturize my hands. I always rub creams on my hands because I'm constantly always washing my hands all the time. Um, my OCD is like through the roof high. Um, if I touch anything, I'm washing my hands. Um, if I open the garbage can lid, I'm washing my hands. If I put on deodorant, I'm washing my hands, as ridiculous as it sounds. Um, if I pick up something off the floor, I'm washing my hands. Just, I'm always washing my hands. And I'm constantly using hand sanitizers, so I'm constantly going through hand sanitizers. I'll wear a hand sanitizer every like few minutes. I'm constantly rubbing on hand sanitizer and my hands are constantly getting dry from that too. So then I constantly gotta moisturize my hands. So um, that's how I get through a lot of my creams. Um, before I used to use it as shaving cream, I used to bring it into the shower, shave, but I would leave it in the shower and from all the steam and the heat, it would make my creams go bad. So I stopped doing that. Um, so I just, I use it as just a moisturizer. Um, and then for my body butters, I use them for the furniture. That's how I get through the body butters. Um, and, uh, cause I find the body butters, even though they're moisturizing, they're greasy. They're very oily, they're very greasy. So I use them for the furniture only and it gives it a beautiful shine. It smells great, um, and everything. So I, I got that off of Queen of the Girl Geeks. She uses the body butters for the furniture and the creams. But I use my body butters for the furniture because that's how I would get through it much quickly. If I would just use it on my own, it would take me forever to get through the cream. So I use it for the furniture. I'm like, um, I'm almost through the um, Wild Madagascar Vanilla. I'm using that for the furniture. I got a small dent in it already. So I still got a, quite a while to go for that. Um, but that's basically how I use my products. Like that's how I get through it. Um, it just, at first when um, I first started doing um, Shriek My Stash and I started using my products, I would get through a cream every, probably every four or five months I'll get through a cream. And then I was so excited because I'm like, Finally, I'm getting through a cream. Like, it took me this long to get through a cream. But I wouldn't moisturize daily, and it wouldn't be throughout the day. It would just be like every once in a while when my hands were actually dry and peeling, and they had cuts on them. 
that's when I would moisturize. Um, but now it's like I'm doing it throughout the day. So, um, so I'm getting through a cream within like two weeks. I get through a cream now, um, using it throughout the day. And then, um, so I could probably get through two creams in a month. So, um, so now that I know it takes me two weeks to get through a cream, now I don't have to feel guilty when I go out and I get the new collection because I'm actually getting through six creams. You know, like, let's say, let's say they come out with a new collection for Bath and Body Works and they have four new fragrances, right, for this month. They come out with four. All right, I buy four creams for the collection. I use up, within three months, I'll use up six creams within three months. So I'm getting through six creams. So it's like, yeah, I'm, maybe I'm buying more creams than what I'm shrinking. So I tend to like hold back a little bit. I'm like, you know what, let me see how many more creams I can get through before I make, you know, another purchase. So that's when I started thinking, but I was like, you know what, why am I going to restrict myself? You know, I don't want to miss out on a collection because what if they don't come out with that scent again? Maybe it's just for that, for that month. Maybe that, maybe that scent might not come back. So now it's like when I go into Bath and Body Works and I'm trying the different scents, I might just like two body creams out of that four that they came out with so I just buy two so if I'm using up two for the month and I just bought two body creams for the collection I don't feel guilty you know so you know I used to feel guilty because I used to buy so many products all the time and I was barely using any up and then you know in the beginning like before I started doing the shriek my stash and the empties video I had about 350 products and I was constantly doing declutters because I was constantly buying so I would do the blind buys on eBay and I would just buy every cent you know I would watch YouTube videos at the collection videos and I'll be like oh I want this cent I want that cent and I would find it on eBay and I would buy it and then I I get it home and I wouldn't like it so then I would have to try to sell it so then I'm just like, you know what, you know, I'm not really much of a floral person unless it's sweet and it smells fruity, like Japanese cherry blossom, cherry blossom, um, wild honeysuckle is, is a nice scent. Um, I like, you know, one in a million, that's a great scent. Um, just, you know, scents like that, like um, tea's flower for instance, just, um, I'm not big of just like a straight floral, but if it's like mixed with other scents or it smells sweet, I'd buy it. Um, but that's basically like how I rotate my scents. You know, I'm constantly, you know, I'll get bored. Just like I got bored with using fall and winter scents, I put them back on my shelf. Now I have a bunch of spring scents over there. And then I have double of my winter scents I have over there on the shelf too but the remainder of what I was using before is still there and I'm still trying to get through it um like you know sweet you know sweet and flirty and fresh and clean um what's the other one um there's another one over there um uh that I'm using um with those they have them right now in the store but it's, it's repackaged. So I'm gonna use up the old packaging from 2017 so I, when I buy the new scents, I have room for them. So I'm constantly thinking, what other products could I, could I use up and I can make room for something that I want. So, um, so yeah, now it's like, now I don't feel guilty when I use up a scent because I'm so excited about the new scent that's coming out and when I use a percent and I see, you know, all my empties and what I've used up, it kind of, I kind of feel good because I'm just like, wow, I wonder what next month's collection is going to be. 
because now I have room on my shelf for it because I've used up, you know, six or seven products for that month. So it's, it's almost like a relief and actually feel good because, you know, so basically that's how I use it my son. So if this is helpful, because I know I'm rambling for like 10 minutes now, I'm rambling. All right, well, if this is helpful, um, just give it a like, share, subscribe, comment, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.